All right, what if your title changes? This could pose a problem. Let's say you just want the title to say ice cream, no longer project again. If we go within the nested clip, I'm just going to double click here to get in there. Another way to get to the nested clip would be just to click on the title sequence out here. Now I box myself in by not creating this text as a sequence. Because if I need to change the title, I have to go to each one of these words and replace it. Retype the title. And that's going to use up a lot of time. So when thinking about a new project, you have to think about where this project might change. Even though I just created this, let me delete all this. I'm going to create a new sequence. And this sequence will hold a placeholder for the title text. Within this sequence, I'll type in some one-liner that later on I could change. Make sure to center the text just like before and horizontally and vertically align it. All right, let me get back to this title sequence that used to have all of my text in there. Unfortunately, because I didn't think about this to begin with, now would be the time to drag in this sequence, put it here, unlink to get rid of the audio track and do all that cutting and placing of the warp on here, just like before. So this means a little redundancy. I'll start it out and then we'll pick up this together. To start out with, I'm gonna drag this to track two. I'll apply from effects the warp, and there's the wave warp. You know how this goes already. Selecting the square, playing with the settings of height and the width, and the speed. One, delete this one, delete this one, delete this one, and I'll delete this one for now. So this is the placeholder text, right? Okay, let me take a look at our main sequence. In our main sequence, we can see the placeholder text is here. I'm going to remove the track mat and the turbulent displays just to look at it a little clearer. So the placeholder text is there. Now, anytime I want to change the title, all you would have to do is go back to your project, go to the title text placeholder, and just edit this text. I'm going to name this ice cream with all caps project two, because you're doing a series of these by changing this in this one sequence and using that sequence as the container to cut up for the title effect, that will propagate throughout your whole project, making any last minute changes easy to do. Right now, sure, you have to recreate this, but in the future, you'll know that if you're doing a title sequence, it might be a good idea to put that text within its own sequence and then use that new container to apply the effect to. So this way you have one place, change the text in one place, it propagates throughout the whole project. And when you're all done, vary the wave height between the different little cuts to add some variety. You have to always make sure that your type is readable can't go so extreme that no one will get the concept and that's what these little moments below give us a little moment of stabilization and let's take a look at the final composition again groovy right so at any time again if we want to say oh you know what this is really project one because we're not even funded to do project two just going back to this title text sequence and just writing number one here or just removing it because we don't want to let on that maybe we've been signed to a deal for a multi ice cream project series. Jumping back to sequence, you see the effect's still there with a new title change. 